All right, here we are for another episode of All Things Radio. We're going to make a little five watt repeater system here. That's going to go inside an ammo box. Just one from Walmart. Nothing fancy. Just a plain old ammo box. All right, let's get started on this. So all we have is two little small Balfang radios, UB 5R. Um, go ahead and gonna tell you that I'm not gonna give you the frequencies or the tones that I have on the repeater system. Um, you know what you can use that's legal if you decide to make one of these. Slide all this stuff off to the side. So we have two pieces that are about 18 inches long and we have the right connectors that go to the Balfang radio, which is this one. My coax that runs to my antenna is, is BNC connector. So those will be on the outside of the box. Everything else is gonna be on the inside of the box. So we're just gonna set these radios off to the side. I do already have these radios programmed. We did have the repeater up and running already, um, but we got a new tool in one from Joe Brett, which is K5YVY. He is on YouTube, you can look him up. Joe makes the little small wrenches that fit on SMA connectors, just like that. You can see how they fit on, and they work very, very well. We'll be using these to put this together. I have another one that's a little bit different, a little bit longer, and doesn't fit hardly as tight, but we'll be able to use it as well. And we're gonna move all this stuff out of the way, and we're gonna bring the ammo box up here. We're gonna figure out where that we want our BNC connectors. So the box opens up like this. Where do we, where do we want our connectors at? And I'm thinking we're gonna put one in this corner. I'm gonna put the other one in the opposite corner, which will be here. Kinda of have to be a little particular about where I put it so that a way that I can still get to my connector, but I want them in the corners just so it's not in the way of anything because they're kind of tucked in behind this little rib right here on the box. The box that I was using is this box, which I'm not the hugest fan of. This is the box that I was using. Don't know where the box came from. Don't even know what come in it. But you can see how that SMA connectors was connected. Look just like that. My biggest downfall with this box is the bottom of it is not flat. It's kind of hard to use, but it worked so I could figure out how everything works. We're gonna start with drilling the hole for the very first SMA connector. Uh, the bit I have is a 9 16 which allows, get a pencil, allows this to slide through, but the hex part does not slide through. It's just this piece slides through the box itself. So we're gonna kind of set this up here, kind of get an eyeball of where I want it. I'm gonna leave enough room to where I can get my pliers in there to tighten this down very well. So we're gonna kind of eyeball, doesn't have to be super perfect. Kind of mark, just kind of mark the box as close. Then we're going to take our drill and just drill right down through the box just like that. 
it's just plastic, so it's not gonna be that bad. Just like that. We'll do a test fit. And it'll look like that when it's all said and done. Kind of, let me hold it up there, like that. So the smooth part of that slides through. But the hex does not. Just like that. But you got one on this corner. I'm gonna put another one on this corner. So this is where the full wrenches come in handy that I got from Joe Brett, which is K5YVY, he's on YouTube. Doesn't have to be a perfect fit, but it has to slide through. So just do a little trimming on the little burnt parts of the box and the drill bit. Now you can see that the connector is inside the box and it is pushed through just ever so slightly on the outside. It's in there with no glue or anything. We take our BNC and it screws right into that. Just like so. Now, that's good and connected. Just like that. Get your BNC on the outside. Get your SMA on the inside. You don't need this much coax, but I like to take my radios out and I like to tinker with new frequencies and such like that. So I do like to tinker around with this. So and I'll show you. I want to get this started with my fingers and then I want to tighten it down with my new wrenches. So there's the coax connected. I'm gonna get my little wrench. And we're gonna finish tightening her up. Right, we're gonna have to back up and we'll try this again. So we're gonna put this on the coax first before we put it inside the box. Because there's this little nut in between them. Can't really get a wrench on, so just like that. So while everything's good and tight, we're gonna use gonna use a little wrench here. Put it on there and tighten her down. Works perfect. Those little guys are awesome. I do appreciate you, Joe Brett, on those. Pretty cool. And there is those two wrenches together. Just like so. You can have them customized with your call sign or whatever you show desire. Um, this one, that is the old design. It doesn't work as good as the new design. So, but now when you order them, you're gonna get this design, which is a lot better of a wrench. We're just gonna shove it through the other hole, just like that. And you can see it's sticking through this side. So it's sticking through just a little bit. The BNC is the other half of that, and it screws right on there. Now, if you want one, I don't, I don't recommend getting the silver ones. They have black ones that screw right on top of the UV five Rs. It's the same adapter that screws on top of the UV five R, just like so. But my coax that I'm using for this has BNC on the end. So we have to use the BNC on the repeater. I'm just gonna take this and screw it right into that. I got my hole a little close to the rib 
on this side. But that's all right. Just like that. You can tell that you are touching right here. But I think it'll be all right. And you can see you mount pretty good on it. Looks good. So there's one on this corner. And then there's one on this corner for the other connector. It's just a charger for the bases. But I want to run these inside the box to where I can charge those when I go home. I don't have to take everything out of the box. So I'm going to run these through the back of the box. I'm going to run these through the back of the box where I can plug them in for the charging cradles, which is going to sit in the bottom of the box. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this around to the back of the box, just like this. We're going to drill a hole down here for these to slide through. Uh, I don't have my antenna here, so there will be a picture at the end of the video showing what the antenna looks like. Uh, my antenna is just two wire dial poles. Now we're going to take these pieces of coax back out. Just lay them on the outside of the box. We're not actually going to un undo them. And we're going to take little charging cradles. I've already done a test fit for all this, so I know it's all gone. These will plug in like normal. Just a normal biofang charger. And then we'll pull a slight back through. Like so. And we'll get the other one. They are turned backwards, so we need the charging cords. Can set together. And then the radios can sit right down on top of them and we'll get everything hooked up. Just like that. Gotta hook our coax in here. So these go right together. No connectors, no nothing. They just go right together. Spin the radio, not the coax, so the coax is already connected to here. So let me see which one this is. So this is my receive radio, and there is a few settings that I can let you know about. Uh, the Vox setting has to be on 10, and squelch needs to be as low as you can get it. And you can see this right here. My fingers are too big to get on that little bitty nut to tighten this down. So we're gonna get on the wrench here, just like that. And then we're gonna take this. There's a little nut on these and I'm gonna tighten down. Well, that's pretty tight down, tight, tight. Just so good snug. So we're just gonna give it, I don't know, maybe an eighth of a turn, just like that. Not even an eighth, just a bump. Just a bump of a turn. Set that oh, This is the box. As you can see, it's mostly Chinese. It's called a relay box. There you go. And we have a K plug on both sides. So it works very well with handhelds, as you can figure it out. It's just a plug and play setup. No extra wiring, no nothing. You don't even have to have an ammo box. I just like the way that it looks. This little box, right in between the two chargers. Just like that. This will plug into this radio. Like so. We try to keep all the wires nice and tidy. As you can tell, there's a lot in one little box. What is it? So then this one, we're going, to, we're going to unplug this. We're going to twist the coax so it rides a little better. Get your little connector. Plug it back up. 
looks like that. And these will be on charge from now until Monday. All right. Everything's inside the ammo box. Everything with the chargers and they're right here. Probably gonna put a little zip tie or something on those or may go back and drill another hole like stream relief. So there's the file repeater system. You don't have to use the BNC. You can use whatever connector that you feel necessary. It's just what I had laying around. There's one on this corner. And one on this corner. And your power wires come out the back for your charging cradles. And then when you open it up, you go to use it, reach in here, you turn both radios on like that. They're both on. One is receive and one is TX. Because I don't have a duplexer, when I have a duplexer, you still have to have two radios, but you only got to have one antenna. That is the five volt repeater. One of my little wrenches that I got from K5, YVY, Mr. Joe Brett. You can find him on YouTube, you can find him on Discord. Um, he makes these, he makes them on a 3D printer. They're just plastic, but they work very well. Your link to that box will be in the description. And everything else on Amazon. You have to get the connectors and stuff that you want to use. So there won't be any links for the coax, for the connectors, for any of that stuff. There won't be any links for that. But there will be a link for the relay box if you want to try this out. It's a fun little experiment. I've learned a lot um, about how repeaters work. So... Um, I have learned that a duplexer is going to be nice because you have two antennas, you got to have so much vertical separation that it makes it really, really difficult to have set up like this. It works. It works good, but it would be a lot easier and a lot better with a duplexer. That's coming though. And then you have a box that's twice as big as this one. Duplexer will be on one side of the box. And you have the same setup except you have a duplexer. And you'll have one antenna instead of two. All right, guys, this is another episode of All Things Radio. And I'll be back with another one as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. God bless you.